Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday, December the 9th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 9. The second day continued. As tertiaries, we are prepared not only to speak out for social justice and international peace, but to put these principles into practice in our own lives, cheerfully facing any scorn or persecution to which this may lead. Merciful God, you have made your church rich through the poverty of Blessed Francis. Help us, like him, not to trust in earthly things, but to seek your heavenly gifts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is in his holy temple. O come, let us worship. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 38. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, do not punish me in your wrath, for your arrows have already pierced me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no soundness in my body because of my sin. For my iniquities overwhelm me. Like a heavy burden, they are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester by reason of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. I go about in mourning all the day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed. I wail because of the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, you know all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding, my strength has failed me, and the brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions draw back from my affliction, my neighbors stand, far off, stand afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me. Those who strive to hurt me speak of my ruin and plot treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and do not open their mouth. I have become like one who does not hear and from whose mouth comes no defense. For in you, O Lord, have I fixed my hope. You will answer me, O my Lord, my God. For I said, Do not let them rejoice at my expense, those who gloat over me when, I, when my foot slips. Truly, I am on the verge of falling, and my pain is always with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies without cause are mighty, and many in number are those who wrongfully hate me. Those who repay evil for good slander me, because I follow the course that is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. God of compassion, when we are weighed down by the burden of our sins, help us to remember that you do not forsake us, but show mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Our 
Gospel reading for this morning is the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Then each of them went home, while Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning he came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and made her stand before all of them. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law of Moses, now in the law Moses commanded us to stone such women. What do you say? They said this to test him, so that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to cast a stone at her. And once again he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders, and Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go on your way, and from now on do not sin again. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray first this morning for your church throughout the world. For your church where it is forced to gather virtually. For your church where it is finding new ways of serving others. For churches that are struggling. We pray for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We pray for our church leadership, for Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Mark, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world, most especially today. We pray for those places in the world where people will suffer because of warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disaster. Most especially we hold up in prayer Yemen, Sudan, Nigeria, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Ethiopia, North and South Korea, Palestine, Israel, Russia, the Ukraine, and the United States. 
give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for those in the world and for those in our community that will suffer from the effects of systemic racism and prejudice. We pray for those who will be seen as less than, as an outsider, as not worthy simply because of the color of their skin, the manner of their dress, their language, their customs, or their faith. We pray for those who hold these things in their hearts, this hardness in their heart that would allow them to see someone else as less than. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for those in this world of abundance who will go without. We pray for those affected by poverty or homelessness. Those who will struggle this day to find their daily bread. Who will struggle and have to make decisions about paying for shelter, paying for medicine, paying for schooling. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today also for the sick among us, for those afflicted with COVID-19, their families and friends. We pray for those in our hospital or our nursing homes and any that are awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. We give thanks for those who help the sick. We pray for our first responders, our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, for our social workers and mental health workers, researchers, and scientists. And in this community, we give thanks for the Bear Clan, 7th Street Access, Samaritan House, Safe and Warm, and Helping Hands. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. And loving Father, in this time of pandemic, when so many are growing weary, and so many have been forced to isolate themselves. For those who, as we approach Christmas, will not be able to gather with those they love, we ask your strength and your support. Help us to do those things that need to be done to protect the most vulnerable of our society. Let us not grow too weary as we wait for vaccines. Let us not give up. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. And Heavenly Father, grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray today for the province of Asia Pacific, for the Victoria and Tasmania region, for Diane, Thomas, Gregorio, Peter, Phil, Dominic, Benjamin, Judith, Becky, Jeff, Carmen, Terence, Ernie, Lorene, Larry, Bill, and Diane. 
God, we give you thanks for the third order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who sent your servant John the Baptist to prepare your people to welcome the Messiah, inspire us, the ministers and stewards of your truth, to turn our disobedient hearts to you, that when the Christ shall come again to be our judge, we may stand with confidence before his glory, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.